So I got the board and Starlink for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Let's do it. What's going on? So what's going on with me coming out here on a Friday? This is a little on a rainy Friday. On a rainy Tuesday. Friday. So I got a Valentine's Day present, and it came in this week, and uh, I want to show everybody what it is. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna put Starlink in the hangar. Starlink. Finally available on the farm. They just released it to this area. Okay. So, Let's go see how it works. So I got the board and Starlink for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, guys, you're standing in the flat bottom Prodigy boat because it's the only flat space that we had that didn't have crap everywhere. So big weekend for us here at the, uh, at the hangar. This weekend, I've got some friends coming down. We're doing our annual inspection on the Kiowa or the Bell 206 Jet Ranger thinking about selling it let me know if i should sell it not sell it whatever you think um y'all don't seem to like it very much anyway no one ever comments on the helicopter videos don't know why but today's an exciting day so as you already know sarah has bought me starlink for the hangar um, i know nothing about starlink other than my friend louie who has the boat in the bahamas the big catamaran the video link uh below you can find that video really cool bahamas trip video there he has starlink and loves it Elon got smart and noticed people on yachts will pay 25 grand a month for internet and he made it so when you go so far offshore, the Starlink quits working. We'll do a video on that when we go to the Bahamas on our new boat soon to come. And, um, but for now, we have it at the hangar. So $120-ish a month. I had to ask Sarah that this morning because I want to be able to tell you that. Um, for service, I think it's unlimited, fast data. It's supposed to be really quick. Very similar to our EP, EPB fiber optics we have in the Chattanooga area, which is like the fastest internet in North America. So I've never been around this. I've never unboxed this. I've never seen it. I don't have the login. We're doing this from scratch, but here we go. Dive in with me. I think this is going to be a mount. All right. Pretty simple instructions not as easy as legos but i mean overall photo of what it's going to look like <coughs> it looks like there's an app to run the starlink which like everything else looks like it comes on and off the mount pretty easy that's a big deal for me because i want to be able to take this with me somewhere else like put a mount on the cabin and then be able to take the starlink to the cabin on a snowy week and work from the cabin and uh yeah so far, so good. It's like some like 3M magnets, sticky stuff maybe. Coarse threaded lag bolts. They don't look to be galvanized, so uh, we'll see about that. <coughs> and then... Some kind of a retainer clip that like squeezes together and pinches as it threads. Kind of a, oh, that's where a wire. So you run your cable in there, like a cable tie. So this would be really nice if these were self-tapping and would work for sheet metal. We'll have to see, but that'll have to run into the hanger. We'll have to drill a hole and seal that in. So uh, the only thing that I don't like about this is so far, I'm going to be putting this in metal. And it looks like they only have lag bolts, no carriage bolts, no nut and bolt. It's just a coarse threaded uh, lag. So really made for like a subroof, siding, wood, stud, post. Um, not going to work as good for my metal building, but we have hardware laying around. So, so far, my only thing is I would say they probably should add some hardware for like barn dominium people. And uh, so, all right. Quality amount, it's got a nice weight to it. It's casted. Um, I think overall that's going to be 
easy to use, kind of locks in place here, different angles. Looking at it from a 50,000 foot view, it looks like this quick release is on and off, which is nice, and it's made for two lags there and there. So I'm um, going to be really easy to install when we make it to that point. So enough about that. We'll come back to this later. Let's get to the cool one. So kind of neat. box yeah I like that all right it's crazy looking very cyber truck ish so plastic a little lighter and thinner material than I thought it was gonna be but honestly I love it that's gonna pack up and travel like in the airplane like the Oshkosh or you know cabin I think I've got some old pelican cases from like GPS stuff and guns them will make me a pelican case but I think they, they also have a pelican case you can buy but them will make a foam pelican case uh, so we can travel with it that'd be nice alright so pretty easy same app it looks like as in the other one there's your ground angle if you don't want to put it on a mount. So that's cool. Like if you're at the cabin, I guess, for the weekend. Looks simple. Cord, kind of modem or router-ish that guy. And a power block. So should be very, very, very easy to install. This looks to be maybe like the router, if you will. Power cord, nice quality. Very similar packaging and quality to Apple. I would say it's the modern California kind of feel, um, kind of Apple product. Real high quality packaging. For all you environmental people out there, all of this cardboard looks to be recycled cardboard. He's still using plastic though. Kind of blow someone's mind. Again, just really nice ergonomical design. It's a little bit of weight to it, but I mean, just nice quality stuff. This appears to have a waterish type kind of seal there. So I would say light rain, dew, outside camping. I think it's going to be fine. So, we've got to find a location in the hangar to put this, and we've got to get mounting and screwing and drilling holes. I was initially going to put it on the front corner of the building and bring it into the utility room where it was out of sight. <coughs> but looking at the instructions, I'm going to do some reading first. It looks like this is kind of our broadcast signal modem, if you will, like we talked about. And I think that's going to do better over here on this wall, broadcasting out into the hangar versus in that closet. Yeah. So I think I'm going to switch gears. I have to have a power source so I'm thinking that I'm going to use this back wall and try to still direct it out into the um, front field. There is a chance, even though I have power there now, that I may use that wall and put a shelf on that wall center of the room. So let's see what we can do. We're going to try to put it outside, open the roll-up door, get the signal going, make sure we have good signal, and then we'll drill and mount it. I think it would be a shame to mount it, find out we don't have good signal, and have to remount it. So stay tuned. Let's download the app, hook it up, do a test run unmounted. All right, guys, so we're going to try to scan this QR code. I'm not a big QR code guy. That good light here. How do you do it? Click the link. There we go. And that takes you straight to the app. Comes right up. There's Google Play. Install Starlink. Bad service in here. We have a standard or high performance. Uh oh. Sarah, there's an upgrade. <laughs> How do we know which one we have? I think we have standard. I don't know. <laughs> How do we know? Might have to call her. Should we call her and ask her? <laughs> I think so. Let's call Sarah. 
<laughs> Let's wet the whistle. Good old Chick Fil A, best American fast food restaurant ever. Hi. Hey, love. How are you? Yeah. So. I was downloading the Starlink app that you got me, and it asked me for options. It said standard or high performance. I happened to be standing in front of a 350 Shelby race car, and I'm three feet away from your Ferrari that has an inch of dust on it. Please tell me we're working with the high performance model. Um, I'd have to double check. <laughs> Give me two seconds. Farming on a budget. Of course it doesn't. Everybody's going to want to know now, is there a high performance model? standard thank y'all yeah you're welcome to the video here's what we've done we've taken a pause we've actually hit standard on the app and it made me send new password so um, I thought I was gonna get to go back in but I'm logged in we're good now it wants me to find a clear view of the sky and it looks like just outside so I'm gonna plug this into an extension cord and put it outside on the pavement facing that way where I want it to go and then um, I have a location and see if we can keep processing through this. Right. Let's go. <coughs> All right, so it's plugged in. It's clear of obstacles. I have location. Connect the cables. Open settings, that's nice. Takes you right to your Wi Fi. It's a pretty good little. There's Starlink. It says it could take 30 seconds to show up. So no internet yet. Alright All right, guys, we're up and running. We got good service. We're streaming lightning fast. Took a little bit to get through technical support. That needs a little bit of work. Can't wait to get this thing on the uh, side of the building and put it in the cabin. Stay tuned. We'll